This is what's left of the Creekmore's home. Our first units were on scene within about 11 minutes. Um, they reported back over the radio that the house was fully involved. The family of seven was able to get out except for one. David Creekmore's son, Drew. David ran back in and made it out alive with his son, but... A few days later, he did pass away from some of his injuries and a heart attack. The family also lost all of their belongings. Anytime that um, there's a fire and people lose everything, it's just really upsetting to us because we try our best to prevent that if at all possible. But firefighters were no match against Mother Nature. Relentless, gusty winds fueled the fire and the house was gone before the first engine arrived. I was actually at work that night. Um, I heard it all on the radio. I knew it was close to my house, called my wife and, you know, got her up and everything and make sure everybody was out of the house across the road. Neighbors in the house area are collecting donations to help the Creek Moors. We couldn't do much ourselves, so we decided we would send out and, you know, take donations of anything, clothes, money, anything we could and just try to help this family out. The family needs clothes, shoes, and school supplies. A you caring account has also been set up for donations for the Creek Moors. I'm Lindsay Jennings, Kicks 96 News.